Hey there, happy February and happy Valentine's Day. I hope that you are doing well and enjoying the season of love so far. When a new month begins, I like to take a bit of time either on the first few days of the month or the first Sunday of that month to get my schedule, my home, and a few other things in order so that I start the next few weeks off with intention and in the right direction. I find by doing some small things each week and keeping to a monthly routine in this way just helps my days run smoother and it definitely keeps me on track. I also like to do small particular things that help me enjoy the season that I associate with that month because I love me some seasonal living. So for February, it's all about celebrating the ones that we love, taking time to love ourselves a little bit, and enjoying the little things that can be savored during the season, like beautiful flowers, yummy chocolates, romantic music, and movies. So I thought I would bring you along as I move through those couple of days of just resetting and preparing for the month of February. I hope that you enjoy spending some time with me today, and I hope you enjoyed this video. When it comes to keeping things organized in my office, I use a binder system for basically everything, business related, personal finances, you name it. This is the type of system that I use. I find it especially helpful for planning because I can really customize my planner binder to suit the things I need without wasted space. And I can make the pages function best for me in this way. I set up my planner once monthly and then do a smaller weekly reset on Sundays. Since it's the first Sunday of the month, I am setting up for both the week and the month today. I use Canva to make all of my planner pages. They actually have some really great pre-made templates that you can use, which I find really helpful. I do use some of their templates for things like my calendar. And then you can also tweak those templates to fit your planner needs, or you can even create your own which is really, really nice. At the beginning of each month, I like to get my wardrobe in order a bit as well. I don't plan every single outfit or anything like that, but I do look at my calendar and take note of any meetings or events I have coming up that I want to look nice for. When you have a few purposeful outfits ready to go at the beginning of the month, you aren't scrambling to find something to wear. When you make plans for something like brunch with a friend or you have an impromptu meeting to attend or something like that. Also, if there's a holiday or season like Valentine's Day, that I like to intentionally dress for during that month, I will make sure to pull all of the clothes that I want to enjoy during the month and hang them on my clothing rack here in my office. It just keeps me organized and helps me remember to actually enjoy those items that I have during the season and still feel and look my best.
I stick to a pretty standard weekly routine when it comes to cleaning and laundry. I wash all of my linens on Sundays, so either Sunday evenings or Monday mornings after I wake up, I freshen up my bedding for the week ahead. Since this is the start of a new month and one that I enjoy decorating for, I decided to add a few soft pink touches to the bedroom with some fun throw pillows that you will see in just a bit and my favorite pink sheets. One thing I look forward to doing most for Valentine's Day is sending out Valentine's cards to family and friends. Just something cute or funny or sweet depending on the person. I think it goes back to being a kid in grade school and getting so excited to pass out those little Valentine's cards to the class and to my friends. I don't know, but there's just something special about sending and receiving something in the mail that I think people enjoy. It's an easy and thoughtful way to celebrate this holiday and spread a little bit of love by telling the people in your life that you're thinking of them. So I am getting mine ready and then we are going to go drop these off at the post office.
fresh florals to my home is something that I really try to do at least once a month to bring a little more life into my space. And of course for February, I decided to choose some roses. They had some really beautiful ones at my local florist. I am not a professional at floral arranging by any means whatsoever, but I do enjoy putting arrangements together. There's just something so relaxing about it to me. I'm here to give you everything you need Your heartaches and pain will all heal with time, girl Your love is mine if we plant the seed And baby, baby, baby You gotta hold on to what we got And give me, give me, give me 
I know I mentioned this before, but something I like to do is show myself a little bit of love for Valentine's Day too. I know that we love on those around us, but I think it's important for us to take time for ourselves and treat ourselves a little bit in the process. And I usually do this in the form of self-care. I decided to take a bit of time today to intentionally set up a little home spa night so that I ensure I actually take the time to enjoy it when I can this month. Setting it up in advance definitely makes it easier so that I remember to take the time for myself and I see it and it's there and I don't skip it, you know? I will skip if I have a really busy schedule and things aren't already in place, but if it's already laid out for me and there's chocolates involved, I'm probably going to take time to do it. <laughs> Thank you so much for hanging out with me on YouTube today. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that you have an absolutely wonderful Valentine's Day with your loved ones, with your honey, with your sweetheart, with your Galentines, whoever you're spending the day with. I hope that you feel loved. I will see you again very soon in another video. Bye.